take a pot and fill it up with water. We're gonna need one big onion and we're gonna chop it up. are nice and chopped. I'm going to heat the water a little bit. I need some chicken. I'm using chicken breast. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in the water. Kind of use a little bit of saffron in there. And some turmeric. So yeah, the color of the turmeric in the chicken will probably be overpowering compared to the saffron, but the taste of the saffron will kind of get infused in there too. So just put enough until it looks... And then I'm gonna dump all the onions. I'm also going to put in some pepper. Also going to dump into garlic cloves in there. Chicken I washed, but yeah, it will get completely cooked in here on low heat. And I'm going to dump the chicken in there and will like just be cooking on low heat until like it is super soft maybe like one hour or so just gonna put on the lid and wait get on low heat and i will be back in an hour do 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 so the chicken should be done by now Let's go check on it. So here's the chicken all cooked and it's cooked and now we can cook the rice. So I'm gonna be taking two cups of rice and excuse my burnt kind of ugly pot. And we're using these rice cups, not like normal cups. I remember the first time I made um, rice, my mom said to use cups and I used a normal measuring cup instead of these. These are about half that size. So don't make the same mistake. Two dry cups of rice. I'm going to wash it a little bit and then I'm going to fill it with water and it doesn't matter, it's just like enough water because we're going to cook it um, for maybe 10 minutes, not completely. And it has to be halfway cooked because we're going to remove the water from it and then cook it again later. So it's a double cooking technique that we Persians use a lot and I haven't seen it used in other cultures as much um, so we're gonna cook it somewhat like pasta but it's not going to be soft it's when you um, when it's done it's going to be a little bit chewy so that's how it should be because otherwise if it's cooked fully it's gonna end up mushy the second time you're gonna cook it so just Wash it a couple of times and then fill it up with water. By the way, you should be using um, basmati rice. Don't get those like Uncle Ben type of rices. I'm also going to put a little bit of salt in the water. And we're going to just let it cook bit of the chicken as you can see it looks nice and soft um, that's how it should be and you want to like break it apart um, 
when you put it in between the rice. This is optional. You can saute a little bit of pistachios or um, zirish, which I don't have for some reason, but that would be perfect for this dish, but for decoration, or you can like put that in the middle as well. I need like two minutes of saute. Now I'm going to make my saffron. You just need um, the powder, which it's not usually, it doesn't come powdered, but um, it comes in these sort of strands. But you need to take these strands and crush them with a sort of like a pestle and a mortar. So once you do that and it becomes a fine powder, then anytime you want to use it, um, you take like a half a teaspoon and hot water, just enough to dissolve it and just leave it to like dissolve for maybe five minutes. Then you can put it on rice or anything you want. And yeah, that's how to use saffron. Quickly becoming big in size, but you don't want to wait too much. As soon as you see it is kind of half cooked, a little bit stiff inside, you want to turn it off and um, put it in a colander and remove the water. So the rice is now halfway cooked. I'm going to drain the water. And you want to make sure you kind of make it cold by uh, putting cold water over the rice. So we drain the rice and uh, make sure you put cold water over it so it stops cooking. Um, and yeah, it is halfway cooked now when you eat it. It should not be like too soft. So it's going to cook again, but yeah. Take some saffron and for this particular dish you want to be like generous with your saffron because you want it to be completely yellow that's how it should be over your saffron until it turns into a beautiful gold color cover over it so it can dissolve and stay so now we're gonna make the base. We have six tablespoons of yogurt, plain yogurt, and we have three egg yolks. We have our beautiful saffron, and we have salt and pepper. Very simple, but very delicious. I mean, um, this is just a base. Though. So we're gonna mix these together and use enough um, salt and pepper. And then we're going to add in the rice after. We're going to mix these two ingredients to make the base. And then add enough salt and pepper um, for about two cups of rice. So I'm going to first add the yogurt. Well, actually, three egg yolks. And then the yogurt. Then I added some salt and pepper. I'm gonna like just mix this until it looks homogeneous. A little bit of saffron, see how it goes. Take the rice and add it into our base. And now we're going to mix. 
mix it all up mix 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 look at that beautiful yellow saffron color just gorgeous mix look at that texture guys this is going to be cooked after so don't worry we're Persians don't eat raw eggs we like to cook everything um, so yeah it's, just mix it so it's completely homogeneous everything the so eggs the saffron and the egg yolks with the seasoning should be completely evenly distributed look how beautiful that color now i'm going to take some of the chicken and kind of break it apart so we can put it inside our dish Yeah, so hold everything else. We're going to put some oil in the bottom of the pan. But you can do this in different kind of, very different um, pots as well. Some people make it in the oven, but yeah, it just depends on you what you like. So it's all covered with oil. And then we're gonna put some of our rice in the bottom of the pan. Oil in the bottom. Take some of the rice and whoop, lay it flat. You wanna do one layer of this. Cook it a little bit pretty well. We'll see how it turns out. You want to make the whole surface with the rice like this. And then now we're going to lay the chicken. You can also use some of the onions we had in the water. It gives it like some extra taste. We're going to put some of the onions there. Put the chicken in there as well. You want to lay it uniformly. Every bite should have a little bit of chicken. A little bit of chicken everywhere. Mm, the chicken tastes delicious. It is super, super soft and super stringy. You can see how soft and stringy that is. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're going to cover the whole thing with the rice again. The sandwich effect. The rice. Boop. To hug all the chicken inside. Cover everything. I make it all even. Even. So pretty. On the stove, some butter, some pieces of butter on top, and now we're gonna let it cook on low heat for about an hour. Ta -da. See you in a bit. Now it's been an hour. Let's see how our tahjin is looking. I can see the edges are crispy, which is a sign that it is ready. The butter has completely melted. Do some slices. Ta -da. Tahia is our food. I love, love crispy rice like this. 
so good. Just a little bit of chicken.